Well, check this out. Motherhood brought our next guests together. The two neighbors turned best friends are behind the Katie Moms Network. Natalie Thomas and Audrey Zeter are here with some mom hacks to help make the transition back to school a little bit easier for all of us parents. As I always say, ladies, it takes a tribe, and I'm glad this yes. one was started. Welcome to the show. Thank you so you. much for having us. So cool to see all those pictures and to see, like, I love, I remember when my kids were born and yes. little, I always, you know, leaned on my, my moms with a little bit older kids to say, like, what am I doing? Right? Yes. That's yes. what motherhood's all about. That's what our platform is all about, yes. is making moms' lives easier. And so the thing we love about mom hacks is most of them we learned from other moms. Exactly. So we love yeah. to pass those along and share them with other moms. I love it. Okay, let's get started because my little, who's eight, loves pancakes, but sometimes we're on the go, and be honest with you, sometimes it's eating in the car. Yep. Yeah, and how do you eat them on the car? In the I car, know, that's so. difficult, yeah. right? You never thought you could eat pancakes in the car. No. Now you can. Okay, we let's do it. We learned this from a really cute mom group in Canada called Cat and Nat, and what you do is, like, say you're ordering pancakes from McDonald's, right? Been you, there. You get it in this little package, and right? You're like, I can't eat this in the car. Newsflash, you can. You're okay. going to kind of cut it up, you're going to doctor it up with syrup and butter exactly how you want it, and you're going to cut it and then you're gonna take all of that and put it in the cup, so okay? you just order an extra cup. Order oh. an extra cup once you get there. You can even get um, one of these drink trays too. Boop, yeah. there you go. This you can use for your pancakes. You can put french fries in there. You can put raisins. It's like an extra little. Yeah, so this becomes just an extra little tray for yeah. anything. Yeah. It's brilliant. There's a lot, you know what this is good for too? Saturday mornings when you've got to run to sports. Yes. yes. That's a yes. good one. Yes. Okay, I love these sandwich things because I always see people with this fun stuff, but these are actually cookie cutters or are they really sandwich cutters? They're actually sandwich cutters. I mean, you could use them for cookies, but okay. from Amazon, sandwich cutters. And if you have a picky eater that you need to just change up their lunch, you can just do the, oops, you can just do these fun little sandwich cutters. And they just pop right out. Yes. Makes lunchtime a little bit easier. And, and also. There's even these little ones that you can do like watermelon oh, or cantaloupe. Cheese. Yes. Cheese. cheese. I know. And sometimes those kids are having a tough time going back, so a little love, a little yes. happy in their lunchbox yes. always helps. Yes. Okay, what is this next one? So these are what we call our busy boxes, okay? And it's really just to keep your kids entertained. So if you're going on a road trip, you're going to a restaurant, so many different ways you can do it. There's a girl one here with like girl stuff. You can make it educational. Literally everything is in the dollar bin at Target. Right. Um, these markers, life-changing moms. Yes. They're magic. They only go on the paper. So oh. they're not gonna mark anywhere else. And so all of this stuff is mess-free. So you can free. do that in the car or at a yes. restaurant and they're not gonna mark on anything else. I love that you just did this. You don't have to search for it when you're running around and saying like, where are those boxes? Where are they? Just leave yes. them in your car. And yes. you can just grab stuff from home. Like half the stuff we just grabbed from like yeah. the bottom of the toy bin and popped them in there and there you go. I Busy love box. it. And you know, my boys are 11 and eight and when we go to dinner, it's no electronics, you know, because they're right. old enough to have conversation. Yes. Um, but they like to doodle too. Mm -hmm. So we have doodle pads and sometimes we're running around looking for the this markers. This is a good so. alternative from yeah. using the tablet. Absolutely. Yeah. It's great. Okay, moving along. What is this balloon situation? This one is so simple, but I use this all the time at my house. I have a really active two-year-old, so if I just need to go put my makeup on or yeah. need a few minutes. Go to the bathroom? Yes. Let's be honest. <laughs> oh, Seriously. Yeah. I literally just have a pack of balloons, blow one up, pop it up, and just say, have fun, have at it. You can't destroy anything with that. And he just runs around hitting it against the wall and You'd be shocked at what, what kids can be I know. with. Not hours, maybe, more like minutes, but still, yes. you, you can grab an extra minute for yourself. Absolutely. You know? And yep. you know what else is great, too? Um, the latex gloves. Oh, oh yeah. Those? You could use that, too. Yes. Yeah, I use that because my husband cooks with green chili, so we all, or jalapenos, and so we always have yes. those gloves under the kitchen sink. Just saying, those are fun See, for boys, too. For There's a new one. I know. Oh, I could be part of the Katie Moms Network. Oh, welcome. Yes. I just packed yes. it. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay, so potty training on the go. I mean, I remember those days, y'all. Yep. It felt like I never left the house. So we're still in that. Yeah. And so I feel like any mom that has newly potty trained kids always have a potty in your car. 100%. You've got to have it, right? Have Always. To. So not even like obviously there's places you go that you don't have a potty, like a splash pad or a playground, but a lot of potty trained kids are scared to go in those public restrooms. I am. So they can either do this. <laughs> yes. Or... Okay, explain this picture. Okay, oh, okay. That's my daughter Harper. We literally left the rodeo because she wouldn't use a public potty that yeah. always freaked her out. So we went in the back of my husband's truck at the rodeo and she pottied. Yep. Problem solved. Uh -huh. I've done it on the side of the road on a road trip. Yep. So yeah, I mean these are things, it's, it's real life. Okay. Yeah, and then they even sell these collapsible potties so it totally folds up and you can just stick in your diaper bag. Amazing. 
So oh, you can gosh. use it at public restrooms. Mm -hmm. That is so cute. Okay. We would just pull over and pee on the weeds, but and, that's okay. I mean, you that works too. Weeds. Yeah, <laughs> I, boys are a little bit easier. Right. Yes. Dropping but, trow, as I like to say. <laughs> yep. Trow. Oh my God, that's going to be us soon. Okay, so, <laughs> but with if, our boys. If, you, if something does happen, you don't have a party or somebody right. has an accident, this is what we call our oops box. Okay. And we just used an old, like, Huggies wipes thing. You don't need to go buy another box. And you can keep this in your car, shorts, change of um, socks, shirt. To put the you know the poop the bag, yeah, yeah, yeah. everything right there. Slides it's in your perfect. Heart. It's a new yep. box. Okay, and that's okay. great because then you can reuse that. Yes. Okay. Now this is what is that? This so is like an organizer. Literally? Well, these two will help in the morning for getting ready for school because oh. the two things that, like that make you slow down are missing socks or not matching socks, and then picking out their clothes. At least yes. our girls are like, well, it's we, a battle. It's a battle. It yeah. is. This is going to help you take the battle away. So you put them in the shelf, right? Yeah, is that what we battle. do? Yeah. You hang this in your closet, and this is on Amazon for twelve dollars. Okay. And it just takes the fight away because literally. Monday, there's their outfit with shoes. Tuesday, Wednesday, it's all there for them. It takes hopefully a little bit of the fuss away. Yeah, okay. and it allows them maybe to get also creative at that time too because yes. they're wanting yes. a little bit more independence so you guys can do it together. Yes. Exactly. Um, I have one of these, but Most I've never thought about putting socks in there. Yeah, so put all their socks. So before you even do laundry, put all the little kids' socks in here and just wash them this way so that way you don't lose them in the morning. Yep. So Listen, in the morning, I'm, you're not looking for socks. I'm convinced that the lost socks come back as... Um, Tupperware container lids. It, oh right. my! <laughs> why, do we have yes. why do I not have enough socks I and I have know. too many lids? Why yeah. is that? Where did the bottom? Where part did go? the bottom part of the Tupperware go? I don't, I don't know. know. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. That out. Somebody needs somebody. to figure it out. I don't okay. Know. This is something that I struggle with. Is this all about like keeping the kids' artwork, yes. papers, and things? Yes. Okay. So walk me through this. Some of it so, I mean, trash, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, you come home with so much stuff. I mean, right. in their backpacks, there's tons of artwork. We throw away a lot of the artwork. Yeah. Um, but there's, of course, the things you want to keep. So I just have one of these for each of my kids. And it's tabbed by the age. So it's like two-year-old class, three-year-old class, kindergarten, first grade. And so the things I want to keep or certificates or whatnot, portraits, I just stick in there. And I love it. Organized. And it's it keeps it organized. So you have somewhere to put it. Absolutely. And you know where to find it. That's yes. the bigger key yes. because then as they grow up and you need and those photos and the kids like to go through it as they get older it. too. Yeah. I know. It's great. Guys, we want to tell you about a link to connect with Katie Mom's network or on our website as well. That's HoustonLife.tv. There's great information. Ladies, thanks for coming Thank in. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for this having so us. Fun. We appreciate it. Yes. Great mom hacks. We're going to find those Tupperware containers. I'm convinced. Yes.